In today's video we shall discuss about chromosome theory of sex determination. But before that do subscribe to my channel and let me know your opinions and suggestions in the comment box. Chromosome theory of sex determination. Chromosome theory of sex determination is proposed by Korins. It is based on number and nature of sex chromosomes. It is the sex determination based on differences in sex chromosomes. In this type of sex determination, both males and females have the same number of chromosomes. XX and XY method of sex determination. The X chromosome is present in both males and females and is comprised of a very interesting pattern of ancestor contribution. Men get their only X chromosome from their mother, but women receive one from each parent because the X chromosome can still recombine in gamete production. Each X chromosome is comprised of DNA that was contributed from both male and female ancestors. Females can pass along an X chromosome that contains information from both their parents, but males can only pass along an X that is a virtual copy of the one they received from their mothers. It is thus the male sperm that determines the gender of each offspring in humans. If there is no Y chromosome, the gonadial primordia develops into ovaries. SRY is a critical gene that control the male sexual development. The SRE encodes a gene that triggers the undifferentiated gonadial tissue of the embryo to form testes. The meiotic non-disjunction causes abnormal sex chromosome development for example XO individuals who have one X but no Y. The human XO individuals with normal set of autosomes are female ad are sterile and they exhibit Turner's syndrome. The individuals fail to develop secondary sexual characters they have web-like necks poorly developed breasts immature internal sex organs etc. Another example for non-disjunction is the generation of XXY humans which are male ad have clean filters syndrome. These individuals have underdeveloped testes add some degree of breast development. Turner's syndrome. Turner's syndrome, a condition that affects only females, results when one of the X chromosomes is missing or partially missing. Turner's syndrome is a chromosomal condition that affects development in people who are assigned female at birth. The most common feature of Turner's syndrome is short stature, which becomes evident by about age 5. An early loss of ovarian function, ovarian hypofunction or premature ovarian failure, is also very common. The ovaries develop normally at first, but egg cells usually die prematurely and most ovarian tissue breaks down before birth. Many affected individuals do not undergo puberty unless they receive hormone therapy, and most are unable to conceive. A small percentage of people with Turner syndrome retain normal ovarian function through young adulthood. Kleinfelter's syndrome. A genetic condition in which a male is born with an extra copy of the X chromosome. Kleinfelter syndrome is a genetic condition affecting males, and it often isn't diagnosed until adulthood. Kleinfelter syndrome may adversely affect testicular growth, resulting in smaller than normal testicles, which can lead to lower production of testosterone. The syndrome may also cause reduced muscle mass, reduced body and facial hair, and enlarged breast tissue. The effects of Kleinfelter syndrome vary, and not everyone has the same signs and symptoms. Sex Determination in Dorsophila Although both mammals and fruit flies produce XX females and XY males, their chromosomes achieve these ends using very different means. The sex-determining mechanisms in mammals and in insects such as Drosophila are very different. In mammals, the Y chromosome plays a pivotal role in determining the male sex. Thus, XO mammals are females, with ovaries, a uterus, and oviducts. In Drosophila, sex determination is achieved by a balance of female determinants on the X chromosome and male determinants on the autosomes. Normally, flies have either one or two X chromosomes and two sets of autosomes. If there is but one X chromosome in a diploid cell, the fly is male. If there are two X chromosomes in a diploid cell, the fly is female. Thus, XO Drosophila are sterile males. In flies, the Y chromosome is not involved in determining sex. Rather, it contains genes active in forming sperm in adults. 
XX and XO method of sex determination. In this system, there is only one sex chromosome, referred to as X, males only have one X chromosome, while females have two. The zero, sometimes, the letter O, signifies the lack of a second X, maternal gametes always contain an X chromosome, so the sex of the animal's offspring depends on whether a sex chromosome is present in the male gamete. Its sperm normally contain either one X chromosome or no sex chromosomes at all. In a variant of this system, most individuals have two sex chromosomes and are hermaphroditic, producing both eggs and sperm with which they can fertilize themselves, while rare individuals are male and have only one sex chromosome. The model organism Cenerobditis elegans, a nematode frequently used in biological research, is one such organism. Sex determination in C. elegans. The sex determination is by X chromosome autosome balance system. The C. elegans has two sexual types hermaphrodites add males. Most of the individuals are hermaphrodite that is they have both sex organs ovaries and testes. They make sperms when they are larvae and store that sperms when development continues. In adults the ovary produces eggs which are fertilized by stored sperms as the eggs migrate to the uterus. The self-fertilization this way will always produce hermaphrodites and 0.2% only form males. When these males fertilizes the hermaphrodites, equal number of hermaphrodites and males are produced because the sperm have competitive advantage over the sperm stored in the hermaphrodites. Genetically the hermaphrodites are XX and males are XO. C. elegans is unsegmented, vermiform, and bilaterally symmetrical. It has been used as a model organism to study molecular mechanisms in metabolic diseases. It is easy to grow in bulk populations and convenient for genetic analysis. The transparency of C. elegans facilitates the study of cellular differentiation and other developmental processes in the intact organism.